Hey, the last video that I put up was for Ozone 10, but I didn't actually go over one of the coolest features. And it was somebody on Gearspace brought it up. It was something that I'd sort of overlooked. So I've got a track here in Cubase and I've loaded Ozone 10 up just as the last insert on the master bus or on the stereo output. And what I did was go through a bunch of the songs that I have that I really like and then basically load them in using this little sort of plus icon and then you just load in your reference files. Unfortunately a lot of people probably don't have their reference files. I ripped all my CD collection years ago so I'm thankful that I've kept a hold of those. But basically you have these as your default kind of tonal balance profiles. But by you clicking on this little icon, you can then add your own songs and then you can basically tone match everything and anything. And it, it'll tone match the EQ curve. It'll set up the stabilizer for you. The impact, the imager, dynamic EQ, maximizer, it'll set threshold, get the loudness. What I found is that some tracks are really crushed and uh, this acoustic track just sounded distorted. But there were a couple of tracks that I have tried here and I'm I'm just sort of blown away. So what I'm going to do is just show you how it works at the minute. I think I'm using a Smashing Pumpkins song called The Tale of the Dusty and Pistol Pete, which is from the Adore album, which is a really underrated Smashing Pumpkins album, I think. But... Uh, I'll just let you hear what it sounds like and I'll do a quick AP. It's crazy how quickly your ears get used to hearing high frequencies. And I my mixes always tend to come out dark. I don't know why that is. I think I'm very oversensitive to high frequencies. And then I my mixes tend to come out dark. So ozone is always adding more highs. But uh, yeah, I'll just let you hear it here. So I've got it level matched. So to me it just sounds like it's really unmasked, the mix, the guitar and the vocal in particular. But the EQ curve, stabilizer doing its thing. Quite a big difference. But if I load up another song here, so say The Purple, No No No, of Fireball, another class album, really good song. Massive difference. It almost feels like cheating. So compassionately. Probably a lot of master and engineers will say it is cheating. But hey, if it gets you where you want to go, I embrace our AI overlords. So compassionately. It's a massive difference, though. Yeah, you smiled on even apply the soft clip and so probably actually a little bit too hard on the limiter you can dial it back so basically once you get the profile from the song that you're using you can tweak it and so compassionately. but that one sounds really nice yeah, you smiled there were a couple others that I thought sounded really good um, so Another really beautiful song is a song called Milk by the band Garbage, which was a Butch Fig record. I think he mixed that one. But, um... Need some There's something about that song. It's just very smooth. Begging, please. 
asking for some peace for some peace it's not quite as bright as the last one another one was Led Zeppelin Houses of the Holy the Rain song People are strange. So compassionately. Which is brighter still. Yeah, you smiled on me. Or the doors strange days. So Virtualized broken heart. Or the verve history, which is a just acoustic and a vocal, really. So it's quite suited to that style of song. Yeah, you smiled on. Sometimes it won't really set much of the soft clip on, but it seems to select low, medium, or hard on the amount, as well as set up all the everything basically for you. But yeah, I think history actually worked the best out of those, which doesn't surprise me because it is just an acoustic guitar and a vocal, pretty much. So yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video to show people how that works and how well it works. It's kind of crazy. Like, I mean, I would probably go in and do maybe three or four different bounces with those different profiles, tweak them a little bit and then just render them and then just go out and take them out for test listens or send them off to trusted listeners, the people you want to get feedback from and see which one they prefer. But there was about five of those based on my references that just sounded excellent. I would be quite happy with them. So yeah, really cool feature. Probably the best new feature in Ozone 10, I would say, by quite a long way. So I'll have to go and thank the guy on Gearspace that brought it to my attention and reminded me to check it out. So yeah, hopefully you found this video insightful and helpful, and I will be back with more soon. Cheers.